bring you the coin toss. And it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Hey, that's a pretty good return there to open this game up. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Stop behind the line. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. That'll bring up second and 11. We've got a second and 11. Ball on their own 39. Caught out in the open. Steps out of bounds around the 43 yard line. Play action, and he is drilled at the 37. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Easily is back deep to return the punt. He makes it to the 32 yard line. Right, I'm sure knows that when he comes on the road, he's going to get this kind of reception. But it seems like he feeds off, and it really doesn't bother him that much. I'm with you, Brad. I, I'm watching this guy play, whether it's been at home or on the road this year. One thing that has just stood out is his consistency as a quarterback. And I, I, I think his game seems to almost elevate when he gets on the road. And we've seen that over the years from guys where they just get so focused and they feel so challenged because they're on the road and people are doubting them that sometimes they play better. And he's done that. We'll see if he can do it again today. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Tackle right around midfield. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. He guns it to the left. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Just throws this one away. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws out and through his hands. This one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. On the ground, inside. He's into the open field. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That brings him second and five. From their own 25-yard line, second down. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And he just gets rid of it. 
That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Easily. Back deep to return. Easily. Takes it at the 33. They'll bring him down at the 42. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and ten. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down, five wide. Looks to his receiver, first down. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Garrison gets six yards after taking the handoff on the counter play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Fires out to his receiver. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. And how about the poise of his quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Quick pass. He's taken down right around the 30. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. He's hit immediately. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From the 14 yard line, first down. Brought down at the four. That's a game of ten on the play. And this play is number eight on the drive. They put everyone up on the line. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. It's second and goal. Ball on the two. And they're in. Touchdown. converts the extra point. A nice nine play, 58-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Rams are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like that. There he goes! Gains his way to the 33-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. A long way 
plays yet to go, but at the end of one, the Rams with a touchdown lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. They'll give it off here. Gets out to around the 48. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Another run. And he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. That makes it second and eight. Number eight, the receiver. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Short pass, middle of the field. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 34. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. First down. From their own 34-yard line. First down. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. They come out on an empty backfield. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First and 10, ball on their own 46. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He throws it. Brought down in the open field. Number 42 on the tackle. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 26 yard line. Makes it out to about the 16. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. They come out in a five wide set. Complete. He's got room. And the ball bounces out of bounds. The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. It's second and seven. Ball on the 12-yard line. He's tackled right around the 14-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. And they'll lose a yard there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. So it's fourth down. 
They'll line it up for the field goal. And if they can connect on this one, that'll put them up by a couple of scores. Kicks away, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Across the 30. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They go with the run. And down he goes around the 45-yard line. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Catch. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he's taken down at the 33. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. receiver. They'll bring him down around the 21-yard line. Zips it to the back. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. That's four yards on the play. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. The 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Two-score game, and they can cut that down here if they can get this one in the end zone. Run right and hit in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Now he's scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 56-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Wesley takes it at the 16. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far. In this yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Passes to the back, incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. And he's tackled right away. And he's level at the 31. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. Uh, 
He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Quick throw onto the receiver. Tackle at the 46. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. He's brought down in the open field. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. The Rams with a three-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both passing games have struggled in the first half, David, and a lot of times you think of defensive backs being finesse-type athletes. A lot of physicality shown in that first half. No doubt about it. In, in defensive backs, the ones that we like the best are the ones that can play on an island and play extremely physical because most offenses are predicated around timing and rhythm, and you see quarterbacks all the time in seven-on-sevens and all summer getting with their wide receivers to try to get that perfect timing, and if you can jam them up at the line of scrimmage, you can mess up that timing. And doing a good job of that, playing close to the line of scrimmage, you know, not letting those receivers get too much wide open spaces and not giving away those easy completions. It's been a clinic so far the first half. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Going deep. Lays it out there. Pick and he dropped it. From their own 25 yard line. It's second down. And he's tackled right around the 36 yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Here's the halfback, and he's brought down hard behind the line. The defense was all over that draw play. And they got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. make it fourth down and they're going to have to punt. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Sellers is the punter. Brought down at the 24-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Brought down right around the 34. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's on the run. 
Makes it out to about the 46. He's at the 40, and they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38. He's taken down right around the 30. Second and two. Back to the tailback, and he's hit immediately for a loss. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's at the twenty. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. Pass complete and taken down immediately. This is the eighth play of this drive. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. It's first down. Defense trying to prevent any more damage. First and goal inside the five. throws this one away. This is the 10th play of this drive. And it pays off. Touchdown. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 10-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Wesley fields it at the 18. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Up the middle for a nice game. Second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled in the open field. That's a gain of five on the play. That makes it first and ten. The defense lays him out. Number eight makes the tackle at the 49-yard line. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 49-yard line. The Rams saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. He 
he's at the 40. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. There's a reason why defenses hate playing against teams that run the option well. It's so unpredictable. That time, they couldn't defend it properly, and they gave up a first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it second and six. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers lead it by four. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Call it a game of seven yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Gaining 15 yards. That makes it first and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. They come out in a five-wide set. <laughs> and he hits him hard at the three. From the three-yard line, it's second down. He lost the ball. Scoops up the loose ball. And there isn't anyone who's going to catch this cornerback. He's all the way. Touchdown. It always makes you nervous anytime a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. Man, did it work out for him here for a big-time play in the score. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Tatum takes it at the 14. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. And he's hit immediately. That's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy he's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. First and 10, ball on the 49. Just throws this one away. Three-yard loss there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Wants to go long and does. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. A 
under heavy pressure. And he tackles him hard at the 40-yard line. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. We're about set to start things up again. Lost the ball. Fumble. The offense scoops it up. They'll bring him down at about the 27-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 27. Less than three minutes in the game. He's tackled around the 18-yard line. three-yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Run right side. He's got the corner. The ground attack has iced this game with that touchdown. He hits the PAT. So a fourth play, 39-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 28-10. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Easily takes it at the 16, and down he goes at the 32. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Just under two minutes in the game. He's going right. And it's incomplete. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 45. Complete. He's got room. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line, second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle around the 43-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wide out. Caught with room to work. First and ten. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. And that's his receiver who's wide open. And down he goes, right around the 20. First down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. And the end zone touchdown. Well, they're 
There's still life. I don't see a comeback on the horizon, but there isn't any question they'll be seeing an onside kick. Well, they're gonna try for the two-point conversion. Under a minute left. He's got it for two. So we're just about ready to return to action. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The Rams using their third and last timeout. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 37. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Again, we've seen this before, and the result is a big third down run. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 28-18. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.